Hey there, back again with another video and in this video I will be discussing about implicit intent. As you know, there are two kinds of intents in Android applications. Uh, one is explicit intent and another one is implicit intent. And in this video I will be discussing about implicit intent. So let's see. There's a small documentation from Google about the this two kind of intents. So want to read this article you can go there and read this you can understand it better but I will make you a summary of it that is explicit intent is something works that is inside your app but the implicit intents actually work in the outer side for example implicit intent works when you don't actually provides your user a feature and you want other apps to take this uh, task for you and do it. For example, you have a game app and when the game actually ends, when uh, the actually score appears in your skin, you want to uh, share this uh, score with others. So in that case, as your app don't have a uh, text sharing feature you want other apps like Facebook WhatsApp to share your score with other peoples with your friends so in this case actually the implicit intent takes place so let's see how do we can implement it open your Android studio we'll be working on an existing project so you have to download the project from GitHub and clone it. If you don't know how to clone a project, I have a different video on it. You can just check it out in the description. I will put a link there. So, so when you have when you are done with cloning this project, uh, you need to open in this select android from here and in the app directory click on java and the first directory from here you can find a couple of classes here and also open the resource folder here you will find the find the layout menu and some apps and other navigation layout files there okay so now we'll be to start working from the second destination .kd file. So we double click on it. Okay. So now uh, I will show you app. So we have initially a app that actually does something like we type our name here and our profession. I'm a student now, so I have student. And when you click next destination. And the name and the profession actually appears on the screen so we want to share this information through other apps with other people so we need a share option at in our action bar so that we can share this information with our friends okay so For now, I want to implement these features, okay? Now, what you need to do, we need an option menu on the second destination. So, in the second destination, we will, we have to enable our option menu. So, we type set has options menu. and we pass a boolean value true now we have our option menu enabled for this fragment now we need to create a menu item that we will be inflating in this layout so click on menu from here in the, uh, from the layout directory you can find in the uh, it in the resource directory and click on menu and from here 
right click and click on new and menu resource file and we name it share menu and click on ok drag and drop a menu item from here so we will be adding a icon to this item so click on this icon image button from here in the icon section and here in the search box type share and you will find a built-in vector here click on ok and from here show as action you need to set it as always so we have a share option here now okay so let's get back to our second destination.kd file we need to do a couple of steps there so to inflate this menu we need to override a method that is called on create options menu why it doesn't pop up man okay i was writing in capital so that's why it was not popping out so now we have this over override method on create option options menu now in to inflate it through the inflator so we write inflator dot inflate and we need to pass the menu item id sorry the menu layout file id this time r dot menu dot share menu and the second parameters is demanding a menu object so we have a menu object in our parameter here in the function so you just need to inflate it now we are done with this on create options menu now we need to override another method that is called on options on options item selected so we just leave the return type as like as it is just for the return statement we need to write a when statement and within this whole when statement condition we'll be passing item dot item id and we put the curly braces now we need to add action for when the share icon is tapped so we type r r dot id dot oh we forgot to give the menu item an id so we just navigate back to the share menu item layout file and we give it an id called share now let's get back now r dot id dot share and if the id is share we want to call a method called uh, start intent or we can call it start share intent now we need to um, uh, actually create this method so if you can use a keyboard shortcut from here press alter and enter and select the second option create function 
you can just create with this shortcut or you can just manually type like private fun start start share intent oh we spelled it wrong start share intent and we call it share intent and and in this function we will be actually triggering the intent to start so we take a variable called value share val share intent equal to the intent constructor and in this constructor will be passing an action that is action sent intent dot action sent because we are actually sending information to other apps so in that case we have the action is actually sent now we need to set some other things as well share intent dot set type what kind of information we want to send we want to send plain text so text slash plain it's something boilerplate value so you can find some of them some kind of other boilerplate values as well you need to search on google for different scenarios so we type share intent and we need to now put our main information so we choose put extra and the first parameter is actually demanding that we pass a string but this time this string is called intent dot extra text extra text in the second uh, parameter we will be sending the text value so this time we want to share the profession and the name and the profession so we have our values here but we can't access them in this uh, function so we just type a global variable called var info string and relate in it so we actually do it info equal to let's say name class choose dot name slash slash n for breaking the line and plus profession plus argument dot profession so what are the arguments actually we are getting from other in, uh, activities so this video is also available in my playlist so you can just watch it there Okay, so now we have the string now we need to pass it here info so we have our information set and now we need to start the activity and within this start activity method we need to pass the intent variable so this time share intent so that it actually kicks our 
intent okay so now if we run this project it should work fine so our build is ready now we need to open the emulator to see uh, okay we type our name I type mine and my profession is a student when I click on next destination there's an option to share and when I press it whoa it's working so as you can see it's actually popping up a chooser a window in our application uh, in our device so that we can pick an option an application to perform this task so as you can see the gmail application the message application and the drive so these applications are actually provides us to share data with other people so that's why actually they have a intent broadcast receiver in their application so that when i just throw an intent for a specific task so when they actually found match in from the our uh, application so they pop up okay they actually respond that hey we can do this task for you you can choose one of them from us but one exception here that is when you have only one application in your device that can perform your uh, inten uh, intended work or the task you want to do so in this time you will not see the chooser window like this uh, because when you have only one application the application will start automatically and you will see the response from there okay so we select uh, the gmail and just click on just once so as you can see name and the profession is already written in our text fields so if you open the do the same thing with the whatsapp so you can see the text in the uh, message text uh, area option so it's a very efficient way to share data with other pupils so you can set it in your application and it's a great feature so if you like this video hit the like button and consider subscribing and if you face any problem let me know in the comment below so thank you